Section 3. You will hear a geography student called Caroline discussing her dissertation with her tutor. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 23. Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 23. Ah, Caroline. Come on in, sit down. Thanks. So how's the dissertation planning going? Well, Dr. Shulman, I'm still having a lot of trouble deciding on a title. Well, that's perfectly normal at this stage. And this is what your tutorials will help you to do. Right. What we'll do is jot down some points that might help you in your decision. First of all, you have chosen your general topic area, haven't you? Yes, it's the fishing industry. Oh yes, that was one of the areas you mentioned. Now, what aspects of the course are you good at? Well, I think I'm coping well with statistics, and I'm never bored by it. Good. Anything else? Well, I found computer modelling fascinating. Mm -hmm. I have no problem following what's being taught, whereas quite a few of my classmates find it difficult. Well, that's very good. Do you think these might be areas you could bring into your dissertation? Oh, yes, if possible. It's just that I'm having difficulty thinking how I can do that. You see, I feel I don't have sufficient background information. I see. Well, do you take notes? Uh, I'm very weak at note-taking. <laughs> My teachers always used to say that. Well, I think you really need to work on these weaknesses before you go any further. What do you suggest? Before you hear the rest of the tutorial, you have some time to look at questions 24 to 30. Now listen and answer questions 24 to 30. Well, I can go through the possible strategies with you and let you decide where to go from there. Okay, thanks. Well, some people find it helpful to organize peer group discussions. You know, each week a different person studies a different topic and shares it with the group. Oh! Oh, right. It really helps build confidence. Yeah, you know, having to present something to others. I can see that. The drawback is that everyone in the group seems to share the same ideas. They keep being repeated in all the dissertations. Okay. You could also try a service called Student Support. It's designed to give you a structured program over a number of weeks to develop your skills. Sounds good? Yes. Unfortunately, there are only a few places. Ah, but it's worth looking into. Yes, of course. I know I've got to work on my study skills. And then there are several study skills books you can consult. Right. They'll be a good source of reference. But the problem is, uh, they are sometimes too general. Yes, that's what I've found. Other than that, uh, I would strongly advise quite simple ideas... Like using a card index. Well, yes, I've never done that before. It's simple, but it really works because you have to get points down in a small space. Hmm. Another thing I always advise is don't just take your notes and forget about them. Read everything three times. That'll really fix them in your mind. Yes. I can see it'd take discipline, but... Well, if you establish good study skills at this stage, they'll be with you all your life. Oh, yes, I completely agree. Mm. It's just that I don't seem to be able to discipline myself. I need to talk things over. Mm, well, uh, we'll be continuing these tutorials, of course. Uh, let's arrange next month's now. Let's see. Um, I can see you virtually any time during the week starting uh, the 22nd of January. Um, what about 
the 24th. I'm mm. free in the afternoon. Uh, sorry, I'm booked then. Uh, what about the following day? Uh, the first day? Yeah? I can make the morning. Fine. We'll go for the 25th then. That's great. Thanks. That is the end of Section 3.